So for the first subtitle, we have uh, the over 10 gigabit Ethernet connection. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, so we want to continue? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Um, in this slide, uh, we are going to introduce you the chain of the hard and SSD. From this chart, you can see the blue one is uh, HDD market share from 2015. And the black one is the SSD market share. So you can see from this, this photo, uh, the HDD is slowing going down mm -hmm. and the SDD is uh, fastly going up. So in two, we expect in 2021, the SSD market share will go over uh, HDD. Oh, wow. uh, so that's why, because the performance of S SSD is going better and better. Okay. And also, the most important thing is the price is going to going down. So everyone, more and more people can use the SSD yeah. because the SSD the performance is good and the price is going down. So we have two examples uh, in the right. You can see there are Samsung uh, EVO and Samsung another one 970 EVO. You can see the performance below. Uh, yeah. The read is over 500 megabytes per second and write is also 500, uh, 500 megabytes per second. So the performance is very good. So that's why I will go into introduce you why we need to use 25 gig. Okay. okay. So, <coughs> so in this slide, um, uh, everybody know we QNAP always promote the 10 gigabit internet to your workstation to your work environment. But there's a problem. Uh, if we everybody use a 10 gigabit internet throughput, uh, going to a NAS or a server. Uh, which is, has 10 gigabit internet card as well. You can see the bottleneck is on the internet card yeah. because the, in the left hand side we have three PC, but uh, in the right hand side we have only one 10 gigabit internet card. So the bottleneck will stuck on the network yeah. networking. Okay. So as I said, the SSD performance is very good. Uh, if the bottleneck on the internet, you cannot fully use the uh, performance of SSD. So it's very pity. So especially we have uh, so much functions for SAD usage, yeah. something like SAD cache and QTR. Yeah, so this is from our QTS. Yeah, it's from QTS. It's our um, uh, QNAP, our feature yeah. to help you to uh, fully use the SSD. So uh, that's why we need a 25 gig because we want to remove the bottleneck. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. okay. So in, <coughs> in this slide, we have uh, internal research from Mena North. We can see um, the, market share, uh, the market share of the uh, over 25 gig speed okay. market is from 22% to 55%. Uh, so I will let Julico to introduce more about this photo. Okay. So uh, in the recent trade that we can see, uh, the total market share upon the networking is uh, doing a transaction that's moving from 10 gig, 40 gig, and migrate to 25 gig above. And it's due to the, the data that's flowed around the e uh, internet or the ethernet network, that you can run much bigger file in machine learning, you can have big data to analyze, you can run a lot of uh, fancy application on the network, but the basic fundamental thing is that you need the faster ne network so that's why the migrate we can see that uh, near uh, in the fu future like uh, within three years we can see a really big jump uh, from 25 git and above so the mainly is based on the, the third party uh, market share uh, market research company we, we follow that we can see we're seeing that there's a, a, a like um, 33% increase upon mm -hmm. the following years. Yeah. That's okay. a big difference actually. Yeah. 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 So the better networking is also we, uh, used on some uh, very hot topics, uh, something like cloud application, mm -hmm. big data, machine learning, and uh, AI. Yeah. So in the future world, the, 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 the best bandwidth of the internet is going to be more and more important. Yeah, okay. definitely, especially for the new you just mentioned. Yeah. 
Okay, <coughs> so uh, we, are, we have two cards. Uh, the first one is 10 gig, and the second one is our topic, 25 gig. Yeah. So for 10 gig, we have a QXG 10, uh, 10G2SFCS4. It's dual port SAP Plus connectors. It's a, a half head card and uh, supports 10 gigabit internet transmission, the speed. Okay, the second one is a 25 gig 2 SFCS4. It's also a dual port 25 gig SP28 uh, half head card and supports 25 gig and 10 gigabit internet throughput. Okay, and the so dimensions are here. Actually, it's not yeah, it's a standard PCI slot, PCI card, so you can install this card on any PCI slot. Mm -hmm. And the chip is Melos Connex 4 LOS uh, networking chip, uh, networking chip, uh, supports ISER and Rocky, is of low acceleration okay. function. Okay, <coughs> so here is uh, some details for you. Uh, dual pole, dual pole connectors, and uh, the low profile bracket is is uh, is installed, and we will also have the forehead and flat bracket bundled, and the PCI interface is the generation three by eight, so provides sixty four gigabits per second and width, and also uh, you can see we have two kind of cable. Uh, if you are using a 25 gig, you need you need to use SP28. If a 10 gig, you need to use SP Plus cable. Okay. Okay. So <coughs> as we said, the 25 gig is um, designed for uh, some data intensity um, or data center business users. Mm -hmm. So we recommend you to use our high end NAS from QNAP. So we have three uh, very new models. They are 83 SU and 77 SU. Um, we use AMD and 72 SU. We use Intel Core. Okay. So that's our high-end recommend NAS. So we recommend users to install this card on such high-end models okay. to fully re experience the high speed. And also there's another thing because. Um, uh, we recommend users to install this card on the generation three by eight PCI slot. For example, on the twelve on the twelve eighty three XU, you need to install this card on slot two, because this slot is generation three by eight and from the CPU. Okay, so if you want to know more details, you can go to uh, the product page to know more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So here are some QNAP, uh, supporting QNAP, QNAP models. Uh, for Tengi, we we can um, we let users to install this card on PCI on models with generation two by two, but we recommend you to use generation three by four. Okay. okay. For twenty five G, we uh, we suggest users to use the PCI generation by four, but if you want to better performance, you can use generation three by eight. Yeah. With the right mouse, we just mentioned earlier. Yeah, and uh, supporting always, um, if you are using the QNAP NAS, mm -hmm. uh, QT4.6, uh, we start to support this card. Okay. If, uh, if you have your own server or your own PC, uh, you need to download the driver for Windows or Linux systems. Okay. So more details, please check our compatibility list. Okay. okay. This time on compatibility list. Yeah, they are will, they will in the compatibility list. Yeah. Okay. So um, this is uh, another important function. Uh, the name is uh, ISER. Uh, ISER is um, uh, for if we would talk about simple, uh, it's something like it just um, how about Jericho? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ICER basically just come from iSCSI. Okay. What iSCSI is doing is that they can load uh, the remote device locally, just look like it is in installed locally on your machine. Mm -hmm. So what you can see that, because due to you have to use the in, uh, internet or the network to load the device. So what, is, what you can benefit from ICER is you can get the RDMA random memory access okay. between uh, the local device and the remote device. So you can increase your efficiency and lower your latency 
and you have more resource for your your CPU to to run other applications. So you can bypass a lot of uh, like a, a temporary memory socket. Uh, so the CPU you can just skip a lot of uh, steps, and our network device. Our NIC will do the rest data movement between the local and the remote machine for you. So your CPU just involved in the first uh, pass while establishing the data data flow, and the rest of the flow and the rest of the work, uh, our NIC will do it for you. For you, so you don't have to worry about like uh, pulling a lot of CPU resource and have a lot of interrupt to uh, to lower your performance. So you you can freely don't worry about any performance regarding any data movement. Okay, uh, if we want to know more about the application about 25D and ISER, we will have a broadcast show mm -hmm. is coming soon. So please stay, for, stay with us. Yeah, watch our live broadcast shows and you will learn more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are going to um, do a live demo about the performance. We use one PC and to uh, transfer the data to 83XU. Okay. You can see our PC spec is here, the NAS spec is here. Okay. And we use Arja. So please change the screen to another okay. PC. To the oh. right. Okay, uh, this is our environment and we have re remote connected to the, to the machine. Okay, so let's start to test. So <coughs> we're doing the test now? Yeah, we are doing the test now. So you can see the right performance is about uh, over 100, uh, 1,500 yeah. megabytes per second. And for read, the performance is amazing. It's going to uh, 2,400. Okay. And this, uh, I need to explain why the right performance is a little uh, worse than read okay. because of the, the hardware spec. Because the, uh, maybe depends on the PC spec mm -hmm. or the SAD spec. Okay, so that's the uh, important thing because we don't want to use uh, to uh, use some low-end PC yeah. and want to have a very good performance. It's not reasonable. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually. Yeah, so please uh, go back to the uh, slides. All right. So let's see what we have next. Okay, <coughs> so people might be wondering how to uh, fully use the 25, 25 gig, gigabit internet uh, because if you, uh, every, I mean, uh, in, com in common situation, people want to use file, drag and drop. Yeah. Yeah, to copy and paste. Yeah. yeah that's what we are using now. So we have a test here. You c we use three PC. Okay. And we connect to our, uh, we install a NIC card on inside, yeah. and we uh, transfer the data, we copy and paste the data to the NAS. So you can see from this photo, uh, the first one we have, uh, uh, they are uh, almost one gigabyte per second yeah. near. So you can see in the NAS, we can detect the speed is over, is near three, three. gigabytes per second. Yeah. So this is for copy and paste. But this is an important thing because um, the high speed depends on many factors. Yeah. Something like uh, PC spec, CPU spec, and CPU cap rate. And also your SSD, SSD um, performance is very important. So here are some recommendations for you. If you want to have this performance, um, there you need to um, uh, 86 architecture, i5 or i7 or same level or above. Uh, CPU on your PC and minimal basic clock rate is about 3.3 .3 gigahertz and you also we suggest you use NVMe SSD okay, NVMe okay. SSD yeah. and for, for your server uh, you can choose of course you can choose our own QNAP um, QNAP high-end server yeah. uh, Intel 72 above or AMD 77 above and the, mo the most important thing is do not use the hardy because the hardy performance is very is not really good. Okay. So we recommend you to use the enterprise SATA SSD or maybe higher level is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is very important. To to take uh, to know this information. Yeah, because the uh, thank you, thank you, uh, the high speed transfer is uh, depends on many many factors. factors. You mentioned. Yeah. 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 Especially the hardware spec. Yeah. Uh, the most important thing is the calculate. 
actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not a number of cores. The yeah. the clock, the basic calculator does matter. Mm. Okay.